You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com for Entertainment Saturday, November 2nd. Welcome. I'm Jen. We've got Andy, Janelle, Sam, as usual. I hope you're having a great day, and we're going to do our best not to ruin that. Well, I can't guarantee that, Jen. Because oh, I was if, trying to. Well, if you have been participating in this French treasure hunt that's been going on for 31 years, they now say they have finally have a winner. Okay. A 31-year-long treasure hunt mm. appeared to have come to an end just the other day. Mm-hmm. Wow. After official well, social yeah. media accounts linked to the search said the token needed to claim the grand prize had been found. Mm-hmm. Okay, can, this makes me feel really old because this hunt started based on a book of riddles published in 1993. So that was 31 mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> ah, participants had to solve 11 puzzles in the book, the 12th one that was hidden, to decipher the exact location of the token. And where did they find it? In France. It does, Somewhere in France. Uh, the book, published in 1993, built a cult-like following with a community of more than 200,000 players known as Owlers. <laughs> Well, here we go. So, the creation of the prize, it's an owl made of three kilograms of gold. Ooh, wow. Yeah, let me see how much that's worth. Melt that sucker down. Let's see here. According to calculate... According to calculateme.com, three kilograms of gold is worth $256,000. Whoa. And it also has solid... Uh, French baguettes. It has seven kilograms of silver. What is that worth? Probably not as much, but a lot would be my guess. How many bananas would that buy? How many locusts <laughs> would that buy? There's, only, there's yeah. only always money in the banana stand. Seven kilograms family of silver is $7,000. Yeah, how many family packs can you get of locusts? <laughs> not enough. What's the locust <laughs> to gold exchange rate? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's see here. If there is an apocalypse, what's going to be worth more, Jen? Think about it. If gold. If locusts. You gold. Can't eat, you, can't, you can't eat gold. What? what? <laughs> you can't eat gold. At some point, gold becomes worthless. You can actually eat gold. What? But why you would you? Of gold leaf? Can you eat gold? Oh. Well, gold leaf is edible. Yeah. Yes. But it's made from gold. You can okay. You can <laughs> eat gold, but there are no nutritional or health benefits associated with its consumption. Thank well, that's you. not that's not part of this argument, though. You said you can't eat gold. <laughs> well, the oh. argument has changed slightly. <laughs> oh, Jen's Sam, just the rough here, Sam. Corner. Well, hold on. Okay, eating gold may have these surprising benefits. Experts say. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Since, You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Remember when we said we weren't going to ruin their Saturday? Gold yeah, may help yeah, those right. with rheumatoid right. arthritis. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, you could you can get gold salt. Hmm. So that they say that may be able to help. Gold salts may prevent further damage to affected joints. Hmm. Gold may help your brain. Why? May. That's What's the good. reason though? Why? Uh does it stick to your bones or something? Possible of positive effect of gold on cognitive ability. It has a, a positive effect on nerve structure in the brain, edible gold. It may hmm. help those with, with anxiety because of its capacity for l- relieving stress, repairing the brain, and boosting the immune response of the body. It may help you. Some strong claims. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure why, out how you would eat it. And Why are doctors prescribing this? Why isn't everyone chugging it? Well, it helps your immune system. It's good for this time of year. A study took a look at the immunological properties of gold nanoparticles. Do they mean liquid gold? I, I mean Velveeta? <laughs> no, I mean breast milk. They I call like it liquid gold. gold. It. <laughs> oh, okay. Bottom line. And they, well, they say it might help uh, infertility as well. Oh my gosh, here we go. Bottom line, 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 here we go. Be sure to talk to a dietitian, nutritionist, or doctor before starting 
before we get to precious metals. <laughs> before you're starting to incorporate edible gold into your diet for any health reason. <laughs> so if it's just for fun, go for it. Yeah, if it's recreational. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's free for all. Go for it. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> if you just have too much money on your hands and you gotta put you gotta start eating gold. I don't it. know where these people come up with their scientific evidence of that. Nobody's tested that. There's no way. They don't oh, know that stuff. There have definitely been dumber things that have been studied. Well, yeah. You know, and well, I'm just confused. Yeah. It, it's very like we ran out of things. So on January 7th, 2022, Desiree O decided to write an article about this. Uh, yeah. Send her a message. Sounds well, like you I should. Her. Okay. Well, here's her other. She does actually have a lot of uh, things we would talk about. The 25 unhealthiest cereals in America. All of them. <laughs> Let's have her on the podcast. We should. Yeah, because we don't have any bad track record with people we don't know coming on the podcast. <laughs> the 12 <laughs> unhealthiest frozen dinners on food shelves. So. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And that's the nugget. Nuggethaybell at gmail.com. <laughs> Let us know if you would like to be a mystery guest that we have not vetted before and you'd like to be just thrown onto the show. And then tell we Andy. We're not quite. We're not and quite you know a lot about nothing. Right Desiree O. Oh, she could definitely come on. She's a freelance writer who yeah. covers lifestyle, food, and nutrition news. They have to know a lot about nothing. Yeah. Well, then we're all out. <laughs> 